major climatic zones. We can divide the Earth into seven major climatic regions depending upon their latitude, amount of sunlight and precipitation received and their proximity to large water bodies. Tropical Wet This is a seasonless climatic zone. There is no great variation in temperature throughout the year. This region remains very hot and humid. Rainfall is a daily affair for this region and it receives about 80 inches of average annual rainfall. This region is found on and around the equator. Central and South America, Africa, South Asia, Southeast Asia and Indonesia have such climatic conditions. Desert This is a dry climatic zone with less than 10 inches of annual average rainfall. This area is not humid and hence the variation between the day and night temperature is huge. In the day, the temperature rises very high because of sunlight. However, due to lack of moisture, temperature dips down rapidly at night. The absence of sunlight makes it very cold. Hot deserts of Sahara and Kalahari are in Africa, the Arabian deserts of the Middle East and the Thar Desert in India are a few examples. Semi-arid The semi-arid zone shares some features of the deserts. Like the deserts, this zone also does not receive much rainfall. This zone falls in the interior of the continents or around the desert zones receiving around 16 inches of annual rainfall. Most of the western sides of South America and Western Africa fall into this climatic zone. Mediterranean This climatic zone is centered around the Mediterranean Sea. This zone is characterized by dense human settlement and excellent agricultural production. It is the zone of dry and hot summer and cold and rainy winter. It has been the cradle of many civilizations. Humid subtropical. This zone experiences hot and humid summer and mild to cooler winter. It experiences long periods of heat and humidity. With increase in the latitude, the zone becomes cooler. This region is suitable for cultivation of rice. However, it experiences hurricanes due to its placement on the eastern coasts of the continents. Northern Taiwan, Northern Vietnam and Japan experience this type of climate. Marine West Coast This climatic zone is regulated by warm oceanic currents and hence has a moderate temperature. It remains almost constant throughout the year. Due to its proximity to the oceans, the zone remains cloudy, foggy and damp round the year. Rainfall is evenly distributed. It rains heavily throughout the year. The Pacific Northwest, London, Ireland, etc. fall in this zone. Humid Continental The climatic zone is home to four distinct seasons with hot summer and cold winter. The zone lies between 40 degree and 50 degree latitudes in the Northern Hemisphere Deciduous forests are found in this region. Tundra This is the freezing treeless zone of the earth. This zone receives less than 15 inches of annual rainfall. It has permanently frozen ground for almost the entire year called permafrost. Summer is very short lasting only a few weeks. Winter is very harsh. Chapter 7 The Land of Dense Forests as we studied in the earlier chapters, the equator divides the Earth into two halves. This division is very important for understanding the changes in climatic conditions, vegetation, marine life, wildlife and human inhabitation in various parts of the Earth. The region from 10 degree north to 10 degree south of the equator is called the equatorial region. This region receives maximum sunlight due to its position. Climate this region remains very hot and humid throughout the year. The evaporation in rivers, lakes and other water bodies is very high in this area. This increases humidity considerably, helping in the formation of clouds very quickly. Every day, within few hours of sunlight, the humidity in the equatorial regions increases to such an extent that it reaches the saturation point. This causes precipitation daily. The climate in this region remains almost the same round the year. This means that the equatorial region does not experience different seasons. Continents and countries that fall in the equatorial region are listed below. 
साउथ अमेरिका एक्वेडर कोलंबिया ब्राजील एट्सेट्रा अफ्रीका लिबेरिया आइवरी कोस्ट घाना नाइजेरिया क्वीनिया द डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ कॉन्गो एट्सेट्रा एशिया मलेशिया इंडोनेशिया साउदर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया एट्सेट्रा ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेजिटेशन दिस रीजन रिसीव्स ऑप्टिमम सनलाइट एंड हैज डेली प्रेसिपिटेशन दैट इज वाई अप्रोक्सीमेटली फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड प्लांट्स आर इन दिस एरिया इवन दो दिस रीजन ऑक्यूपाइज ओनली सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल लैंड एरिया ऑन अर्थ द ट्रीज इन दीज फॉरेस्ट बियर फ्रूट्स एंड शेड लीव्स बट एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स ऑफ द ईयर ड्यू टू दिस autumn never comes in these forests these forests are therefore also called evergreen forests the trees in these forests grow in several layers and the taller trees spread their branches forming a canopy at the top this prevents sunlight from passing through the floor of the forest is covered with shrubs smaller trees creepers etc Various types of ferns are also found in abundance in the evergreen forests. Some commonly found trees of these forests are lianas, kapok, bamboos, coconut, ferns, philodendrons, bromeliads, etc. Wildlife. The lush green evergreen forests are home to a variety of wild animals, especially the tree-dwelling animals like monkeys chimpanzees gorillas squirrels flying foxes etc the aquatic life also thrives in the form of crocodiles alligators snakes turtles fish and others birds and insects of a great variety are also found in the evergreen forests human life the region is thinly populated due to the climatic conditions only a few nomadic tribes like the pygmies of zaire Semangs of Malaysia and Kubus of Sumatra live in these forests. They are dependent on food gathering, hunting and shifting agriculture. They clear pieces of forest and do cultivation there for a few harvesting season. After the land loses fertility, they move to newer regions. Malaria is the deadliest disease of this region.